Uh, these uh, uh, different tools that you see here will help to find the position of the satellites by uh, changing the volume of the noise they will emit when um, uh, receiving the signal from the satellite. They are not equivalent. This other one is uh, a, um, uh, what we call a DISEC. Uh, you have different versions. This is a DISEC number two. And this is able to uh, have, uh, uh, to collect, let's say, to gather uh, the, the signals coming from four uh, satellite uh, LNBs, four LNBs, and so that you have the first input here, a second input of LNB signal, uh, a, a, third, a third input of LNB signal and a fourth input here. All the signals, so four LNBs, their signal will be collected and sent uh, through this uh, uh, middle point that will be connected to the satellite receiver. Uh, an, another, uh, uh, let's say, tool that is very handy also is after you have prepared your uh, coaxial cable, like this, you have a coaxial cable prepared and you have a F connector here, you find also these adapters in the market uh, that can be used uh, to be uh, locked at the top of, of, the, of the F adapter here. The, the small stick you see in the middle, uh, that is uh, really the wire, will go inside the hole that is here and then you screw it inside it. You screw it like this and what is the advantage of this uh, this uh, adapter is that when you are working like uh, we are doing in this video showing uh, uh, how to mount uh, this different part of the satellite system satellite receiving system uh, you will be uh, very often uh, putting this uh, in into this inside here and uh, it will be very tiring if you often have to uh, screw uh, F adapter and remove it and this uh, adapter will make it very faster eh? very faster you just put and you push and it is connected but you have to be careful when you are in the market and you want to buy these adapters sometimes they may uh, sell to you uh, an adapter with no stick inside as you can see here so this one, you see, there is no stick. And this one, you have the stick in the middle. This one is a good one. This one is, is, is bad. But if you are, uh, you are buying a lot of them, you may not pay enough attention to that. And then you come out with uh, this trap that uh, you don't have uh, uh, these sticks inside. And it's useless. For the um, LNBs, you have also several types on the market. Um, this one is from Brand uh, Strong. We are doing any. We are not doing any publicity for any brand. We are just showing uh, the different uh, uh, options you have on the market and the one that works, uh, than the one that 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 did not work. Uh, strong. This is a strong. Uh, let's say LNB. This uh, universal one. Uh, uh, we don't have the box here, and you have this other one also. This uh, LNB. Uh, for universal KU brand, uh, band LNBF and uh, you have the frequency here uh, input frequency 10.70 to uh, 12.75 gigahertz so you can receive K KU uh, band with this one but also universal band and this one is presented like that you see it so the top is a little bit gray and you have this other one with uh, uh, the name Tokyosat and uh, you can see it here the top is white and for this one you have uh, normally it comes also with a small um, a small, a small rubber here that will protect uh, the, 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 this side of, of the LNB against, uh, uh, against uh, water when it's exposed to rainfall. Um, this three LNB we found also that uh, you know, as for the uh, let's say the strength, uh, the amplification strength, the, this one that's uh, the Tokyo Tokyo Sat brand uh, has proved to be better than than this one, uh, the KU um, of Eurostar. That also has been proven to be uh, to be better than this one. That's a normal universal. Uh, it's a question of amplification. In a moment also we will see how to use uh, this LNB with the uh, uh, satellite. Uh, um, finder 
tool. By the way, there's a satellite founder that we, we found that uh, it was the best that we could uh, check, uh, is uh, the brand Good Bay that we see here on the box. We will use uh, this uh, over apparatus, this device, as actually a uh, manual receiver. It is playing the same role than a normal satellite receiver. We have used here Satlink uh, WS6909, this model, but you have um, uh, better models also on the market. The only thing that uh, one should know is that if you want to use this with a satellite meter, uh, the satellite finder like this one, uh, that really requires to have a 13 or, or 18 volt uh, current in order to work, it needs a, a, a current, but also you have the, the option of the satellite founder in the, in the market that, that has a box, a lateral box with batteries. And these batteries will provide on the side where you have the receiver, and so you plug here the cable coming from this uh, uh, box of, of, uh, of batteries, and then it will provide the electricity necessary for the satellite finder to work. But we will use uh, the Satlink receiver, a manual receiver, uh, to uh, provide this electricity. But one has to be careful. If you just uh, uh, connect uh, using, let's say, these adapters, if you connect the, um, the satellite, uh, the Satlink to the satellite finder on the side where you have the receiver, of course, if you put like this, and you put on your, uh, your sat link, you put it on here by this button, and you connect to the overside also um, your uh, LNB that normally will be positioned uh, somewhere uh, in front of your, uh, your dish, uh, the satellite dish, if you connect this, yeah, uh, and then you put this here. The, uh, on the side where you have written to LNB, uh, you, you have the light, a light here. If you look at closely, you have a, a, a light that is here. That proves that uh, the, the, the sat link is, is providing the energy, the e electricity necessary for the, for the uh, working of this uh, satellite finder. Um, sometimes what happens is that your uh, sat link will not provide ele enough electricity and then you have to connect it the this the sat link itself you have to connect it uh, to a uh, electricity plug uh, and even if you are taking time to work for very long it's better to connect it or you buy the option of the satellite finder oh you see and then now be uh, the amplification is much higher. It's, uh, it says past to 10 because I have connected to the electricity plug. And this, is, this can be very tricky when you are trying to find the satellites. So one has to be careful about that. Now I reduce, reduce according to the, um, the, the manual uh, of, of this uh, apparatus, I reduce till the level of, of 5. And you hear this small sharp sound. Eh? And how do you know? that uh, this apparatus work very well um, is now the LNB is connected to it if you put your hand in front you see that there is a change in the amplitude of the signal and the sound will tell you also unfortunately when you go to the shop it's difficult to check that so sometimes you will be trapped uh, in buying a satellite finder that is not very efficient. And then, then I have put the, the, the Star Gold brand. And this one, as you see, also it's emitting a sound. And the, the fact is, to find the real position of a satellite, the sound itself is not the key point. The key point is that when you are moving the LNB, uh, uh, in front of the satellite receiving dish at a certain moment the sound emitted here if it was for example 4 as you can see here it was 4 it will be suddenly amplified and will pass to maybe 9 or 10 and then you know that you are receiving 
a signal from a satellite. But uh, in order to check whether this device is working well, it's good to connect here and then you put uh, an intermediate volume. That's here, for example, four. If you pass your hand in front of the device and it's not reacting, look at or listen. No reaction, no change in volume. And then even if you are moving the satellite, the LNB in front of your dish or moving the dish itself to find the satellite position, you won't be informed. And unfortunately, even the sat link is not very powerful in this area. It will show you only a certain amplitude, but the sudden change of an amplitude when receiving an additional signal from a satellite, uh, you will not be able to solve that with the sat link. But the sat link is very useful uh, in order to receive the images. And you have um, a very handy uh, satellite receiver here uh, with which you can move in difficult locations and then uh, uh, make your adjustment on the satellite dish. So here is a reason why we say that this one is not working fine. You put your hand in front of the LNB, there is no change, no reaction. Now I connect uh, the third one, Satellite Finder uh, Brand Global. Uh, so the, the, the place where it's written uh, uh, receiver, I will connect to my Satellite Finder apparatus. And then you hear a sound. That's also amplified. I will reduce by turning the knob here. As you see. And then now I check whether the, the device is reacting when there is a change in the signal coming into the LNB. And I put my hand. You have a movement. You can see the movement of, of the small stick here. The needle that is here. You see? When I put my hand, the needle is moving to more than six. And I remove, it's going back to five. I put my hand, more than six. Then I know that this one is also working, though the light is a little bit less than on this other one.